on the 16th of April 2013. We have invited uh, more than 400 CEOs to Copenhagen to discuss the future around sustainability and CSR. We believe in that by uh, doing good for the world, you also do good for your business. So we have a business mindset when it comes to social responsibility. The companies are currently taking more than they're giving to the planet. And I think uh, this math will change. And I think it will change because uh, the companies that care, they also win. My name is Alan Egerholm and uh, I have the pleasure of being the managing director and the co-owner of the Hotel Crown Plaza Copenhagen Towers here in Copenhagen's new business district called Ørestad. Well, in my words, I would define CSR as a broad description of the way that a responsible business should behave uh, towards its stakeholder and its stakeholders, both internally and externally, and the local environment. Uh, to me, it is the it's our ability to make a small contribution to making a difference. Well, is CSR boss worth or is it a business? I would say both from the point of view that a lot of companies are using CSR as a cover, as a as a buzzword to try and sort of buy a uh, a cheap way of sort of absolution um, and sort of be seen to behave and I think for most businesses it just becomes a desktop exercise it's a it's something that you do it's a report that you put into your annual report but you don't turn it into actions to me it's big business because if you actually take it from the desktop and turn it into decisive action in your organization it becomes a competitive advantage and that's how we worked with CSR here for the past four years now um, in ensuring that it becomes very operative, very visible, and then it becomes a competitive advantage. And then it's big business. How, do you, how you define big business, I think, is up to the person defining it. For me, it, when we talk the business aspect of CSR, it is really two main components. It's top line, so ensuring that the revenue stream comes in and ideally comes in at a higher rate than my competitors, quite obviously. Uh, but just as importantly is converting it to bottom line because it's no good having a strong top line if you're not able to hold on to the money. And when you look at CSR and the work with CSR, there are so many bottom line contributing aspects that are available to you. One of the very obvious ones is the environment. We have a very big building, 29,000 square meters. Reducing energy consumption is clearly smart because it saves bottom line. We save over 60% of our energy bill here working actively with uh, environmental innovative solutions, uh, which is also CSR. But it's also the work environment. Reducing the amount of absenteeism from the team is clearly saving a lot of money and improving the product. We're a service organization, so for me it's important that the waiter is on duty this morning to serve breakfast. If he or she is not, they're putting pressure not only on their colleagues, who then also may become ill, but they also uh, put pressure on the service delivery. And we're currently tracking at around half the level of absenteeism of average of our industry. So that's a lot of money, if you like, to bottom line, but it's also a lot of money to top line because we can deliver a better product. Uh, this is a long and very broad story, if you like, because there are so many effects from it, or additional effects. One of them is, of course, that, that they tend to be more happy at work than I've ever seen in a hotel business before, and I've been around for over 30 years. Uh, we also see a lot of pride. We see that they 
they enjoy being part of this organization because we have different and very strong values that we work with. Because for us, CSI is not the buzzword. It is really at the heart of the business and therefore at the heart of our company, um, the, the way we are. Well, I firmly believe that it's a good idea to target uh, or use CSR actively in your business because it makes sense. There is nothing that I've seen in the principles of CSR that you as a business business should be unable to subscribe to. It is all, at the end of the day, extreme common sense. It's common sense to look after your stakeholders. It's common sense to look after the environment. Uh, just to take the two big ones, it's common sense to ensure that your suppliers behave in a proper manner and that the coffee that you drink in my hotel is not made on a plantation which uh, uses child labor as an example because children in the new world should go to school. They shouldn't go picking coffee beans uh, in, in, in normal school time. So it's, it's taking those decisions to ensure that you put pressure on your suppliers to also behave because then you have an extreme domino effect uh, right through the system and therefore it's common sense to me at least. <laughs>